I'm back with another reading from Negro Myths from the Georgia Coast. This is myth number 22, the cat, the rat, the cheese, and the fox. The cat and the rat didn't find one big piece of cheese in the closet. Them carried away to share them. Them can't agree how to divide it, and they called a fox to judge between them. The fox, he very cunning. He never forget himself. He bring a scale, and he put the cheese on him. Then he take his knife, he cut off a big piece, and he put it to one side, and he say, this for the judge. Then he weigh the cheese again on the scale, and he take it out, he cut off another slice, and he put it to one side, and he say, that's for the judge. By this time, he done took more than half the cheese. When he put the cheese back on the scale and hold him up again, Brother Cat and Brother Rat, them both call out, hold on, Judge, this thing wrong. You gonna took all we cheese and leave we none. Brother Fox, him very vexed, and he gathered the cheese and he fold up his scale. He holler out, be gone, you rogue. You live upon the thief and you gonna tell me how to do justice. Good for you, me only take the cheese and let you go with your life. My great mind to kill you both. With that, Brother Cat, Brother Rat, them left, and Brother Fox, who been the judge, eat all the cheese. When thieves get plunder, better for them to share amongst themselves than to trust to call an even bigger rogue to divide them. I'm not going to hold y'all. Brother Fox just spoke to my spirit because my least favorite type of person, like I cannot stand people like this, is the people who do stuff to people that they do not want done to them. And they be mad about that shit. Like say for example, say for example, I'm just making something up here. Say you forget your wallet or something. You like, hey, can I get $5 to buy lunch? I'll pay you back tomorrow when I got my wallet. They like, nope. But then, then say the next week they forget their wallet. They will have the audacity to come to you and be like, hey, can I get $5? And it's like, hold up. Last week you just was like, what? You know what I'm saying? And then they really be offended when you keep that same energy. When you be like, nope, suffer and die, bitch. They really be offended by that. And I've asked people like that before, like, Bitch, you do know just last week you did so and so and so. Why are you in my face asking me to do that exact same thing you did not do for me? And they be acting confused too. Honestly, I'm naturally a giving person. Like, I don't have any issue sharing with people. And I will look out for people, like, not even on no, oh, make sure you pay me back stuff. I will just look out for you. Like, if I have the money and you come to me saying you forgot your wallet, here's $10 to get lunch. You ain't got to pay me back because, like, you know, I have $10. I'm not that down bad. You know, like, now, of course, I've been broke as hell before, but I'm not in that position anymore. So I really look out for people. And something I had to realize, though, is that there are people out here who will not look out for you. They will, they will come to you and ask you for shit, whatever, right? But then when you need something, you go to them. They be like, no. And they ain't got no shame in that shit. Then they will come back to your ass when they need something again and really act confused when you be like, no. Like, oh, that's my least favorite type of people. One day I'm going to have to tell y'all a story. <laughs>